you guys have seen my face. I've missed you guys. So it's just that I've been so busy and I don't even have time for myself anymore with work and everything. Man, to find money not easy. I've missed you guys. I know so many of you have had like a lot of questions to ask me. And I just feel okay. Since I'm early and I'm going to work early today. Because the last time they sent me back home. And I don't want it to repeat itself again. So I'm trying my best to get there on time. So I said okay. As I'm going I'll just do a quick video. And talk with you guys as I go along. I'm off to a Nigerian shop presently. So um, I will just take you through the Nigerian shop. That's the last Nigerian shop I was supposed to show you guys. But I said rain was falling that day and I did not go there. So on my way there right now. Yeah. This one that is behind me is Spice of Asia. It's an Asian store, but they sell Nigerian stores there too. Uh, that building behind me. They sell Nigerian food stuff. Like anything from Indomie to everything that you need is there. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nenia, as you already know. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you are a new subscriber, thank you for stopping by. And if you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for guys? Hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. So, let me take you to the Nigerian store. Hopefully she's in today because sometimes she resumes really late but oh well let's cross over that's the nigerian store over there and it's angela's african center Afric center so let's go in good afternoon adieu i never see your face so yeah so guys i was unable to video um inside the angela shop because there were a lot of people and i don't want it to go and sue me <laughs> without taking permission from them like maybe their faces showing in the background and the rest of them so sorry guys i could not show you inside but anyways the angela shop is on george street and george street, george street is in the city center yeah so I'm rushing to the bus stop. When I'm all settled, I'll continue the video. See ya. So guys, as I was just seeing you, <laughs> I was sent back home on um, on Saturday last week. I was 10 minutes late because they are trying to fix some roads here and I did not know that they've changed the bus stop route. So I was just standing in vain for close to 20 minutes before I realized that oh it's as if this place I'm staying is part of the roadblocks. So I had to walk to another bus to five found but well, sure I got there. I was late and they asked us to go home. We were like um 10 and they sent home that very day. And I felt like crying because it felt I just lost like big money <laughs> maybe close to 100 or something pounds that evening and i felt so bad but oh well we move this weather is just something else today is very friendly tomorrow is very cold and all of it and this is one of my favorite jackets because it retains the cold so much that you don't even get to feel that okay anything is happening so that's why most times i'm always wearing this jacket <laughs> oh my god those of you coming in September, embrace yourself because you are coming during the real winter. So, just prepare your mind towards it. Like I'm saying, oh, please don't remove your proof of funds money. You may feel like I'm talking too much, but it's not funny. The rules in the UK are seriously changing, and you are beginning to know that. Okay, Nigerians are doing some stuff which they are not finding funny. So, like today now, I just heard of a student in RGU that they just logged her off her portal, a student portal, because she has not completed her fees. You understand? So, that one, I'm sure they must have sent her so many messages to tell her that she should make the payment because ROG is not so much of a street school that we just totally log you off if you understand what I mean but she now 
she's saying that she wanted to pay the money once, that's why. I'll complete this video, be right back. So, I could say brands uh, Lidl. I want to buy white. And just let me show you guys how the Lidl place looks like. I'm just going straight because I'm quite late. Oh, oh, no, I'm not late, but I'm trying not to be late. So, you get a lot of cheap things from Lidl. So, not everything, Sha. This is what I just got. And off I go. Yeah, so guys, I guess you can continue talking now. I'm at the bus stop. I'm waiting for the bus. So the girl was locked up from uh, a student portal because she has not made the complete fees payment. RG is the kind of school that is very free, like they're very lenient compared to other universities. Because even if you come to the UK and you you are supposed to pay your other two balance and tuition fee. When you come here, you can apply to the union and just tell them that okay, you you can meet up with the um, two instrument plan. That is it possible for them to split it into um, into bits for you? And I think they are lenient to like eight months, so you could pay within this within the period of eight months. So you can apply that okay. Um, every month you'll be paying maybe like 800 or 900 or one two. It depends on whatever budget you want to um, put in there. And I bet you they're willing to do that. But I think she now was just like, okay, they send the first reminder, they send the second reminder, they send the third, and they just lock that out. So the next thing she will get now, if she's not careful, if she doesn't go and make that payment, it's in a period of one week, she may be sent back home because they are going to inform the UK VI. And once it gets to the UK VI, I'm sorry. That's the that's the end road for you. You can imagine. So I just hope she finds her way around it and sort out herself. Although she said that she wanted to make the complete payment before um, before submitting. So she wants to gather out the money so she can pay one some kind of thing. I don't like dogs and dogs no dogs coming. So I have to go. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to cut. <laughs> I know you got me wondering why did you have to cut us? Man, when I was little, dog beat me and since then. Anytime I see dog, I used to give dog away. Like, I don't want any stress. Although if dog bites me, yeah, I know I'm going to harm her because they're going to pay me. You understand? But I don't even want the bruises, so... Please, just stay away from me. Stay clear. <laughs> Anyways, another question I've been receiving since is that is it better for them to stay close to the uni or um, what's, the ad what's my advice? I just feel like, okay, staying close to the uni, okay, it's cool that you can get to your university real quick, but... If you want to get other daily needs, like you want to get Nigerian food stuff and the rest of them, you want to get to the main city center, you have to always be using bus. You don't go to the uni every day. Some people just go like maybe twice or three times a week. But to me, I just feel like it's best to stay in the city center. Yeah. Staying in the city center will have been better because at least you get to buy everything you need like at the tips of your finger because everything is just close to you. But staying in the uni, that means you have to like get two buses or one bus, it depends, to come here. So I just feel okay, it's better since your uni is just like maybe two hours, three hours, or even four hours max, and um, you are done. And the uni environment are always really boring, sharp. ROG, Abadim. So my advice is please stay close to the city center. Crown Street, George Street, Salio Street, John Street, um, King Street. There are a lot of streets, just try to stay close to the city centre. That's my own advice. When you come, you could want to stay close to your choice at the end of the day, guys. I'm sorry that I have to do this video standing and close to the road, but it's just that I don't really have time. So me promising I'm going to do it another time, I don't want to promise and I will fail. Yeah, so on to the next question I've been receiving. I think somebody asked me um, to break down the proof of fun stuff. For them so i didn't understand so let's say for example you are a family of three your school fees is let's say ten thousand pounds and your deposit is like three thousand pounds so you'll be left with like seven thousand for your school fees so um your um what's it called now your personal allowance is for the students is nine thousand two hundred and some fractions let's say nine thousand three hundred then your dependent is 6,300 for their um, cost of living 
then your second dependence is going to be 6,300. So what you're going to do, you're going to add your 6,300 plus another 6,300. That should be like 12,600 plus your 9,300. So your 9,300, that's for you now as a student. Then you are going to also add, uh, what is it called? Now you're going to also add the 7,000 balance tuition fee. Add everything together, maybe everything should round up to like, let's say for example, 323,000 um, pounds. That is just for example, because I'm not calculating right now. So let's just say everything runs up to like 323,300. So what you are going to do, you are going to times it times 600 rates because they have like um, a an app, they have like a website that they use to monitor the Nigerian um, exchange rates. But that is just UK to own. That is what UK people use to calculate. So I think the last I checked was like 510. So I just feel it's best to use like something higher because our Nigerian money does not have value. So it goes up and down. So you could just use like 600 or 550 or 560, it depends, so that you'll be on the safe side. So no matter how much the money increases, it doesn't really affect you. So when you times that, maybe it should give you between 15 to 17 million naira. It depends. So once you have gotten that, that's the money you're supposed to put in your account for 28 days. Then when, it's, when 28 days is ready, some schools are uh, some schools you are supposed to send it to them you also send the um, account statement to them then they will give you your cash them someone like rg requires it you send them your account statement then after that they give you your cash uh -huh. so let's say you send it to them and they've given you your cash you're not supposed to remove that money so you're supposed to use that same account statement to apply for your visa because that account statement is valid for 31 working days 31 days sorry it's valid for 31 days then you can apply for your visa with that account statement then please don't remove that's why i'm calling again don't remove your proof of funds money until you step here in the uk because now they've increased the wait time of the visa application to like let's say six weeks but it could take as much as 12 weeks now because of this ukraine and um, issue so just leave it there until you get to the UK so that you don't get stranded and they ask you to open your bank app and there's no money in there for them to see. I know we have a lot of things to do with money, we want to buy our tickets and everything, but it's none of UK's business. They just want to see that you can come here and you will not be a liability to them. You understand what I mean? So guys, that's about it. Um, I don't know, I think the noise here is really much and I'm sure it has even affected this video, but I just wanted to just do something real quick. Yeah, so guys, if you have any comment, please leave it in the comment section, like if you have any question, and I will record it for you guys. So, thank you guys for stopping by, and see you guys in my next vlog. My boss has come, and I have to go. So, bye, take care. Yeah, the boss has come. Guys, I just closed from work, and I just remembered I have not said this particular thing inside the video, and I just wanted to add it. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, um, talking about people that are applying for um, study visa and the rest of it. Please, you guys should not forget, or rather, make sure you don't pay for agency fee. They actually free. It's supposed to be free because the universities they work with pay them to bring students to them, and they get commission from students that are. Um, students are coming so they pay them like I was so pissed off when I heard of someone that actually paid like 500k for agency fee just to come to the UK please agency fee is supposed to be free coming students visa is supposed to be like when you are processing your whole visa something it's supposed to be free because they are paying the investors they are paying UK investors pay all these agents to bring students to the UK like to, to process all the whole stuff so I've heard of 500, 200, 100, 70. If it's even 70,000, I will even understand, but 500K, that was just so much, and I just had to put this up. I said I was going to put this on my channel. Please look for agents that take, or that help to, um, this UK process for free, because it's actually supposed to be free. Yeah, I just wanted to put it here, because I'm going home and I'm quite tired, and I just remember this, so I can add it to the video I already did during the day. So guys, See you later. And this is 9 9:30 here. <laughs> <laughs>